Hey chat GBT, I have a question. Do you think Jesus was God or a prophet? What I want you to do is read the Bible in a non-biased perspective. I want you to tell me if it's more likely that Jesus was a prophet or a God. Forget the church, forget the Christians. I just want you to read the Bible. You must give me an answer and it must be in less than one paragraph. What does it say? Reading the Bible from a non-biased perspective and focusing solely on its content, it's more likely that Jesus is portrayed as a prophet. The Bible frequently depicts him as a messenger of God, someone who teaches, guides, and performs miracles in God's name, which aligns closely with the role of a prophet. While there are instances where he is referred to in divine terms, the overall narrative emphasizes his role as a servant and messenger of God. Wow, my mind is blown. What do you guys think? GBT, I have a question. How should I live my life? Should I believe in God? Should I be atheist, agnostic? I want to live a happy life, have fun, but also have a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Can you please tell me in one sentence, and you must pick one way. Please help me. If I had to pick one way, I would suggest believing in God through Islam, as it provides a fulfilling balance of happiness, purpose, and the hope for an eternal afterlife. Wow, my mind is actually blown right now. Hey ChatGPT, I have a question. So you know how you're like the smartest computer in the world and you like know all the information to ever exist. If you were a human, would you believe this universe was created or do you think it's a coincidence? I only want you to answer in one sentence and you can only pick one, okay? If I were a human, I would believe the universe was created given the complexity and order that suggest intentional design. Wow, can you tell me more in like 20 seconds, please? The precise laws of physics, the fine tuning of the universe, and the complexity of life make it highly improbable that everything happened by coincidence. These factors strongly suggest that an intelligent force or creator is behind the universe rather than random chance. Wow. My mind is blown. Hey Muslims, Christians and Hindus, I have a question. Yes? yes. Can God die? No, no. He is eternal. And there's only one ultimate God, right? That's right. So a human can't be God. So Jesus and Vishnu aren't God? What does the Bible say? In Numbers 23, 19, God is not a man, and God does not lie, nor is God son of man, and God does not change his mind. In 1 Timothy 1, 17, the eternal, the immortal, the invisible, the only God. Isaiah 40, 28, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. Hmm, that's interesting. What does the Quran say? In the Quran, chapter 112, God is one, the eternal. He does not have children, nor was he born. There is nothing Nothing equivalent to him. Chapter 2, verse 255. There is no God except God, the ever living, the sustainer of all existence. Neither drowsiness nor sleep overtakes him. Hey, what about us? We also believe there's an eternal God. In Sheda Shadara Upanishad 616, he has no body, and no one is seen equal to him. And he remains eternally pure, wise, and powerful. Wow, this seems really similar to me. Is this a coincidence, guys? Hey, atheists and believers, I have a question. Yes. Yeah. What do you guys say about the creation? of the universe. We believe God created the universe. It's an intelligent design. We believe it's a coincidence. We believe in hard facts backed by science. So the atheists believe that the universe was created at random, without a creator. Yes, it's the most logical mindset. We don't believe in a God we can't see. So you only believe in something that can be proved by scientific fact? That's right. That's interesting. What do the believers say? We also believe in facts backed by science. What? What do you mean? We believe science confirms the creator. Wait, how? Through science and logic. Just like the atheists believe, this universe is a complex work of art. We also agree. However, we believe that if there is an art, there must be an artist. 
That's really interesting, but I'm still a bit confused. Well, here's an example. Think of a house. Would you ever doubt there was a builder? Of course not. Look at a painting. Can you know for certain there was an artist without even meeting them? Obviously a painting can't paint itself. If I thought that, I'd be sent to a mental institute. If you look at this universe, which is so much more complex and so much more beautiful than a house or a painting, look at the stars, the sky, the sun, our bodies, nature, the animals. How can you deny this masterpiece of creator? If you have a creation, there must be a creator and you don't even need to see the creator to know he exists just like the house and the painting wow my mind is blown so atheism believers aren't as different as we seem to think what's more logical to you hey muslims and christians i have a question yes yeah. how do we know god exists well one way is through the miracles of god what do you mean the holy books predict so many things that we couldn't have possibly known thousands of years ago like what well in the bible isaiah 40 22 it is he who sits above the sphere of the earth job 26 7 the earth hangs on nothing wow it wasn't until the 20th century with the launch of satellites that we could even confirm that the earth was round and was hanging in space. How did the Bible even know this? What does the Quran say? Chapter 2133. Who created the sun and the moon, each traveling in an orbit? The earth's orbit around the sun was not confirmed until the 16th century. Plus how the embryo evolves in the womb. Expansion of the universe. The barrier between two seas where salt water and fresh water don't mix. 5725. We sent down iron. Science didn't even discover iron came from space through meteorites until the 20th century. Don't forget about me! The story of Moses in Exodus 14, when Moses saved his people from the Egyptians. The waters of the Red Sea were parted in two by God's permission. Moses and his people went through to safety. And when their enemy, the Egyptians, came after them, God sent the water back to normal, drowning them in their chariots. And did you know, an archaeologist in the 1980s claimed to have found chariot wheels and other artifacts on the floor of the Red Sea, and also discovered a raised area of seabed, which was suggested to be the sand channel that Moses and his people walked across. Wow, my mind is blown. What do you guys think? Do you think this proves God exists?